I just want to take a maybe a minute or two of your time and talk about my current goings on in reference to Hurricane Ian. A lot of you know I'm in central Florida where it kind of swiped through. God forbid I did not get anything near what the coast received, but I did receive a lot of DMs and a lot of people trying to get out to me and reach out to me. And I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. We got insanely lucky here in Lakeland, Florida. Minor damage, lost power for maybe a couple hours or so. Some people didn't even lose power, but overall I'm in great shape. Now I have friends and family on the coast of Fort Myers and Northport area that have lost pretty much everything. I mean, it's absolutely devastating. We just finally got one of my best friends and my goddaughter and his wife out of Northport. They practically had to just walk for miles through water and practically swim, whatever the heck you want to call it. But we've been through a lot of hurricanes here. Um, I've, my whole life, pretty much, I was born and raised here in Florida. I've been through just about every single one of them. I went through the notorious 2004 hurricane season with Charlie, Francis, Gene, and you know, nothing really was to them the measurement of this. This is insane. Absolutely ridiculous. I've never seen anything like this. I tried to get down to Fort Myers to, you know, assess some damage to families, homes, and stuff, but I couldn't get in, and I had to do a U-turn, so it was unable to get in. I just could not get in. We had to tell people, sorry, man, we can't get in to help you. You know, it, that's terrible. It's absolutely heart-wrenching, and my heart goes out to the people on the coast, and if you guys want to help out in any way, you know, there are places you can go to donate. I'm not going to say go anywhere specific and donate, mostly because there are so many of them, and I cannot tell you firmly who is going to use your money appropriately, so I'm going to leave it to you guys to figure that one out, but I will tell you, it's devastating, and it's, uh, it's crazy. Like, I was just at Fort Myers Beach three weeks ago, and having fun with family. I mean, we always go to Fort Myers Beach. It's where we always go to, Pine Island, all that area, and uh, now it's gone. It's just wild, so if you guys want to help out in any way, go ahead and do so. I will tell you, people down there will highly appreciate it, but the whole southwestern seaboard is going to have to be rebuilt. So there's my Hurricane Ian update. I am totally fine. The shop is fine, as you guys saw in the video there. <laughs> I have a electric red E39 BMW now. You guys will be seeing the rebuild of that, but overall, just absolutely crazy, and uh, there's my Hurricane Ian update. So, just, you know, sit back, relax. On a lighter note, we have one killer detail here for you guys that's a lot of fun inside and out, so let's go ahead and get that kicked off. What's going on guys, it's Caleb and today we have a 2020 Corolla that is in the shop for a detail. Fun little thing about this car, what's crazy about it is we realized it right whenever we were doing it that two years ago to the day was the last time I washed this car and it was also the last time this car got a wash. <laughs> so pretty cool little thing there. This thing was pretty gross, it was kind of disgusting, but it wasn't all that bad and we definitely made it 10 times better by applying some wax. Yeah, you heard that right, wax. We tried some wax out with this, we got the wheels nice and cleaned up, we got the paint work nice and clean, got all the bugs gone. It was a really fun exterior detail. This car ended up turning out great. so I do think it's going to be a good video. So sit back and relax. We're going to get these wheels nice and cleaned up because they are pretty dirty and then we're going to move on to the paintwork.
as for the paintwork, we're focusing on getting this thing foamed down so that way we can go through and brush all the little nitty gritty areas. We're also focusing on just getting that layer of dirt off of the surface before we go in for a hand wash and getting the bugs off. is stoners, car cares, tar, and sap remover. This stuff works fantastic, obviously, for like tar decontamination and whatnot, but it also works great for bugs. So usually before I foam down a specific area that has a lot of filth on it, or tar, or bugs in this case, I usually hit this stuff with it first, wait about a minute or so, and then I foam it down. That's really gonna help to eat away at all the bug guts and stuff that acts very, very similar to tar and sap. <laughs> I've talked about it a lot in previous videos, but I went ahead and foamed the car down in sections because I'm focusing so much time on panel by panel with getting a brush and everything into the nitty gritty area. So that's why you saw it all separated up and I didn't just foam everything down at once. And because we went panel by panel, we were able to spend a lot more time focusing on getting that layer of filth out of the nitty gritty areas and off of the paint so we can move into what is now the hand washing section.
So this is where we're going to take the time to go ahead and get this thing clay barred so that way whenever we put some wax on the paint it's going to be nice and decontaminated. What a lot of people don't know is that if you don't clay bar your car or use some sort of chemical decontamination that leftover contamination on the paint is going to really prevent any kind of wax or sealant from attaching itself to the paint. Think about it as if you have a base layer and then the sealant or wax is going to be your top layer. You have something in between the two that is preventing the top layer from fully adhering to the base layer. And if I have no intentions of polishing a car I go ahead and foam it all down so that way I can have the maximum amount of lubrication I possibly can with this clay bar because we definitely do not want to introduce any kind of marring into the clear. So now that it's inside, we've gone ahead and gotten this thing nice and squeaky clean. We've dried it off. I want to go ahead and wipe down with an isopropyl alcohol mixture. I'm trying something different other than Carb Pro's eraser. I'm just using 30% isopropyl alcohol, 70% distilled water. And so far, I liked it. I've already wiped down the hood. You guys saw that. Worked fantastic. Now the one thing, of course, is there's still some bug spots still in the front end of the car. That is because it's kind of embedded itself into the clear coat and we're not going to be doing any kind of polishing or anything. So we've done what we could with it. Now we're gonna to try to gloss up the paint so much that you just can't see it. As for the rest of the car, it's in great shape. It really is, it's in fantastic shape. So we need to go ahead, get this thing rubbed down with some IPA and then put the wax on it. Now the wax we're going to be using for this car is going to be Stoner Car Care's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. This stuff is amazing. I tested it on a couple of cars just to see if I liked it or not, and if I didn't, then I wasn't going to use it, but it actually fantastic stuff for wax. Granted, we all know wax has kind of grown obsolete. It's not really something that a lot of people use, but there's still a genre of individuals who still like using it. And personally, I would only use this kind of wax because it really is good. And I will tell you that I did this car actually a while back compared to when this is being 
being uploaded and it's still going strong. It's actually really, really cool to see a wax last longer than two, three months or so. It's very easy to apply. It took me a little bit of time to readjust to the amount of product to use because I haven't used wax in a little bit. So if you see me using quite a bit of product, yeah, <laughs> I know. I will say this too, Stunner Car Care ended up releasing a ceramic quick detailer that is actually really fantastic as well. They're really stepping up the game here. And if it was crap, I would tell you guys. And what's cool about Stoners is that they would let me tell you guys it's crap. I didn't have it at the time of this video, but I guarantee you if you topped the wax with that quick detailer, it would just be an awesome finish. If you're interested in any products from Stoner Car Care, they are in the description of the products that I use and like. Go ahead and press the link, see where it takes you. everything off we're going to go ahead and put a ceramic glass coating on this car we're using stoners of course the main focus here is to get the glass squeaky clean and then go through and evenly lay on this coating give it about 30 seconds or so to flash you will definitely see it turn colors go ahead and wipe it off flip your towel and then continuously wipe the rest of it off now the one thing i will say with this coating is glass is awesome whenever it's coated but it is extra awesome on the windshield if you take the extra time and go ahead and get the blades coated as well the windshield wiper blade will accept the coating believe it or not and it'll just make it an even slicker surface on top of your windshield to swipe water off overall just giving you a much easier and better experience when it comes to a downpour outside let's say while you're driving the less amount of friction on the windshield also extends the life of your wipers too so that's pretty neat other than tire dressing and wiping some bead maker on the paint that brings us to the end of this detail a little bit different here i had this car a little longer than usual so that's why we went ahead and applied wax to it because originally it wasn't going to get any kind of coating or wax or sealant it was just in for a really nice deep clean either way i'm really happy with how the car turned out very excited and now here in florida we're all coming back to normal here so i'm able to finally get this video out it has been like a week delay i think so thank you guys everyone for your support if you like the video please show me by leaving a like and we are so close to 5,000 subscribers so if you like car detailing content or cars in general go ahead and press subscribe and ring that bell stick around for the ending cinematic and i will see you all next time where we do a really cool car that's getting paint corrected and coated Later.